Hello everybody, again a video. This is my small shallow reef tank. The size is 25 centimeters and the lamp is 20 centimeters on the surface from the reef tank. Today I don't want to speak about the tank, I want to test it how powerful is the lamp, the GHL Mitras. And I have a parameter reader. We know the best one is Apache, but this one is also really good. And on the Apache to this one, you can put 10% up what we, send, we want to see on this display. And now we want to check how, how powerful is the lamp or if it's not so powerful. And um, around this will be the video will be very interested and important is the par par meter, but uh, it's not all. Okay, okay. We will see what the lamp can make for for power in the tank. Two hundred and twenty. Okay, we will start uh, measuring. I start the uh, bar meter. I switch off the the wave maker. Okay, that's now off. And then we will see, let me see if the, all of the channel, okay, all of the channels are on 100 percent. The Kelvin is about 12,320 exactly. And now we will see how powerful is the Mitras LX light. I think I will make it like here. You can see it. Put a little bit light on. Maybe it's better. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we will start the measuring. Okay, in the first here, in the middle one is 1000, 2000, crazy. <laughs> okay, we go in. This is round about 700 plus 10 pros and around 770, like nearly 800. Here in this one, there we have 470 plus 10 pros and it's like 520. Oops, down is here is about 25 centimeters in the deep in the water. It's 350, nearly 400. Every time we have to put 10 percent up. On the back, where's the milker? Should go for the milker. We have 430, like 470 here on the Sadie de Porter. We have 500, 520. Poor, nearly 600. Crazy. Yeah, nearly 600. On the back side, there we have 440, 450. Crazy. Here in the West Acropora Valida. On here, this is around about 5 centimeters, or 10 centimeters less. Down 450, 550. Here in the corner. There is well, within 120, 130, nearly nothing. Here is good 330. On this corner here on the back side, what good 200, 220. Here and here is around about. 15 centimeters deep, 350 plus 10 percent, 390. And here, where's the Monty Porter? Is around about 450. And with this Monty Porter, have more than 500. And here in the middle one, in the middle of the light, oops, we have. Two. 550. So what you can see, the lamp have really, really power. 
more power, more power. I have a lot of power here. 460, like plus 10 volts, like 500. Yeah, okay. Now I will put the, the white channel off. We put the white channel off and we see in the blue channel how strong it is in the blue channel. I make the one moment. Okay, now I put all of the white channels, I get them off to zero. This is this one, this one, and this one. I think that's all, no? White, white, white. There we have cold white, not warm white like other cold white, and this is all blue. UV is on. The people think every time, ah, and this is, get them, uh, this is blue, 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 white. It's on also. Okay, I think this is, looks not so blue on the video, but it's really blue. <laughs> you, you see in my hand? It's really, really blue. Now we check how strong is it. Ah, this is really interesting. So again, we're measuring a um, little one is 1000 under the surface of 460. On the floor downstairs is around 210. What we can see is when you put more white on the corals, that giving growing and nice placative coloring. When you have it light. This is for me not looks really natural. It's good for the fluorescence, but on the middle one, here one we have 360 plus 10 broads and like 400. Oops. Where's the valida? There's the valida. 380 for, f oh, oops. 420 around this on the back side. Here is around about 250, 275. Where's the Stühle? Milka. There we have 330. I every time put 10% on the what we see on the display. Here in the middle one we have or here, this one, we have 250, 275, here in the corner, on the back side, there is 150, 170, well, 165 around this. And where's the Monty Porter? She has 310, 340 around, this, around about this. And here in the corner we have 110, 100, and here <clears throat> 150, 165. There's also Aquapora. Oops. There is 330 plus uh, 350. Okay, so that's really interesting to see when it's blue. It's good getting growing also you can make a nice fluorescence but the best is when you have a full spectrum on that on the on the tank like this one and this one this is what we need on the chorus then you have really nice coloration okay That was the video from the testing from the parameters with the Dano Plus. It's good, really good, really good. You can put on every time 10 pros and more. And then you have exactly the same like the Apache. Apache is much more expensive, but important is, for me it was really interesting to see how powerful is the light. And, and I was, Com I configured it a little bit uh, too low, in my opinion. It was too low. I put it like the most low, lowest power on the lamp, and it was uh, not so good. But I have to say, on this tank, I'm not really measuring nearly nothing. Okay, so 
uh, I make one time a week water change, around about 16 liters. I using here all for reef for the KH, but the KH I think in the last three months, maybe I checked this <laughs> two times, it's nearly okay. Sometimes it was a little bit higher, a little bit lower, but, but it's not for me. It's like, I want to see when you don't have a lot of headache about the tank, how it's running. It's run okay, it's okay. The calls are growing, not wow, but it's okay. For me, the, what is nice on this lamp, <clears throat> I'm a, you know, I'm a lover from the metal halide, no? HQE metal halide. It's for me, one of the best light. But the thing is for me, where I live, it's impossible or I need a chiller and a lot of technique. I'm, I'm a reefer without a lot of things, you know, I'm yeah, not, not really, nothing, not really a lot of things inside and I like it easy system, no? Easy system. I'm using all for reef and for me important is the salinity every time is really constantly and the KH level is also constantly. But now I put it, the lamp I will uh, connect in a stronger that I have here around 450 to 500 par. And the plan is now 12 hours and 30 minutes in the morning I put it blue. Then it's going really fast up to this spectrum what we see now. This will be have around eight hours. And after this going down, 40 minutes, one hour, and then it's blue again for around about two hours. That to create a lot of good of fluorescence. And for me, I like the corals that have um, placative. You know, when you get the corals out, you have color. You know, when you get them out, it looks not brown. It looks, it still looks red. This is for me important. This is what I like on the on the. On the chorus, not when you switch the light off, or you have to, blow, to put the blue light, and then you can see the colors, colors with the <laughs> with the special glasses or some filters or whatever. This is not for me, uh, for my style. I like it more natural. I like it. This this color is for me. This color on the tank, it really looks nature. It looks for me looks like 10,000, 10,000, or maybe now 14,000 k. Metal halide looks like, and in the spectrum when you can see it, it looks really nearly like metal halide. That's what I like. Okay, so let me in, your com in the comments what you think about metal halide or LED or maybe T5. T5 is also <laughs> really, really good light. And, but I think now the future going to LED and I have to try with LED. This is the way what I want. So let me in the comments what you think about the light, LED, T5 or metal halide. Give me a like for the algorithmos and I see you in the next video. Take care. Happy reefing. Bye.